Welcome back, GTI fans. This is another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. Uh, I'm your host, Zlot, and today we are on the Geek Tech Industries Imperial Galactic Survival server. This is episode 22 of the server start. So today we're going to do some more uh, castle work. And right now I am up on the upper mezzanine of the machine shop. I finished decoing it out. Uh, I got a little bathroom area here, you know. I need to crash for a couple hours without having to go up to my living quarters, whatever. So got a little lounge area, a uh, popcorn machine and, and um, you know, beer fridge. I uh, got my, um, my six big screen flat panel LCD TVs, or I guess they're uh, holographic TVs, um, you know, got some consoles hooked up to them and we can play uh, multiplayer video games and yeah, little uh, office computer. So downstairs, I'll just jump downstairs instead of taking the elevator and thank God for low gravity, I would have died on another planet. I decorated up my machine shop, so you can see it fits my SV quite nicely. I removed the lights from up top. They were hanging a little bit too low, and I'm, I was leery that it might interfere with some larger SVs that I might plan on making in the future if they have really big tails or something. I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to optimize my height underneath the mezzanine. So I got rid of those lights and I put them on the wall. Uh, I just put them everywhere. So you can see every part of my SV can pretty much see. I have the lights turned down to the lowest intensity, but to the max distance and a whole bunch of them. So it, it, it doesn't create a whole bunch of glare. Higher intensity creates this really bad washed out glare and I just, I didn't like it. So I turned down the intensity for my shop because this is where I'm actually going to be to, to create uh, vehicles in and modify vehicles. Hence machine shop. I put in some deco, really does nothing. Although I do, I did put a, um, an armor locker, gave it public access, put in a uh, advanced construction with public access. O2 and repair station all with public access. Um, so if somebody comes in and they're, they wanna do some work in a sealed environment, that's fine. They can come use my shop and, and use stuff. But again, anything in here with public access is uh, basically free for all. Um, so just keep in mind, if you store something in public access in my castle, uh, it might not be secure or no, it's let, correct that it is not secure. Okay. So here is the machine shop done. I think to the, to my specifications, uh, let's run on over. I forgot to actually show you that I, I finished decoing the med center. So let's go into there. I changed the flooring because if you look really close at the cobblestone uh, on the outside ones, it, it has like this moldy moss growing out of it. And I'm like, oh, well, that's not appropriate for a, a medical center. So I put this more uh, sanitary. And oh, miss some. Miss some on the back of those. I'd have to pop those off. Well, let's just do that really quick then. You know, while I'm here, make sure we're in disassemble. Pop that, pop that, and we'll texture this up. Just for completionist sake. Now I want to, don't want to apply it to whole block just in case. Oops, no, I don't want that. I want this. Thank you. Okay, and now I can put the medical stuff back in cloning chamber and medical the I mean these are I've already got a medical um, bay downstairs so this is more for people coming out of their ships uh, in a tough spot need some 
easy healing, so let's... Yeah, I didn't need that. Um, what I am going to do is quickly paint this. No, not multi-tool. Paint this. Yeah, we're going to go with our gray theme. Uh, I also actually want to make sure this is publicly accessible. So by hitting control panel, I can find it right here. Um, I want to put a lock code on of 0000. And I'll do that to all of them. Doesn't really matter. I don't care if people use my medical facilities. I prefer them not to die. Okay. So there we go. I've also, I'm pretty sure I put F1 or F00 on all these two. Yeah, all the scanners I did 0000 to, to unlock them so that people can use them too because they, they are functional. Broken leg, open wound, stuff like that. Okay. Um, did I change anything in the other side? I don't think I really did. So in the lab over here. Not sure if I did anything over here. I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think I did. I think this is the way it was when I decoded it. I might have changed this up a little bit over here. Yeah, I can't remember. Sorry. Uh, but the one thing I know I didn't show you is upstairs. I decoded the patient recovery rooms. So we have... Sorry, my... My video card is having a tough time rendering this castle with and recording at the same time. Uh, okay, so I've got a couple of beds with some monitoring equipment and whatnot. It's all deco, yeah, I know. Um, got a bathroom, shower and toilet. We've got the uh, vanity here. We've got some. Seating area for visitors, um, and it's pretty much a duplicate on the other side. Yeah. Okay. So these are all done. They're they're ready for people to recover from their imaginary wounds, since the decos will completely recover them instantaneously. Okay, okay, it's I know it's overkill, but come on. It's a freaking castle. Why why wouldn't it Come on! That was weird. It wouldn't <laughs> it wasn't putting me all the way up. Okay, uh so I made a doctor's lounge area, uh, medical staff lounge area, whatever. Kind of sparse, I, I know. Uh here's some researching equipment uh, that didn't go down in the lab. Uh, yeah, just deco to fill space <laughs> at this point because I got like so much space for activities. So much space for activities. This is just the medical center. Okay. So that is the medical center done in my opinion, and that was kind of weird. They both open at the same time and one blocks the other. Yeah, that's kludgy. Anyway, uh, let's go over to the, you know what, let's go, let's go pick some, uh, some veggies really quick. We'll get some uh, canned veggies going because I know I'm going to get hungry while doing this, so. Go into the hydroponic cafeteria area. So we'll just, uh, come on. God. You know, you can't pick the one that you're standing on. Of course not. Whew. 
Whew. My, uh, my RAM seems to be having a little bit of difficulties with this freaking. Oh my goodness, did I miss one? Nope. Yeah, I've got a pretty good machine too, so obviously I think this castle is taxing it. Uh, let's actually take a look at the specs really quick before we go too much further. One of the main, it is now a class 31, and I'm still not done. Class 31. Wow. Uh, 370 meters by 478 meters by 184 meters. Let's take a look at the statistics. And so it is... 38,339 blocks. Wow, that's a lot of blocks I've put in. 2,100 devices. I'm not sure what counts as devices. I guess anything electronic. I'm not sure if deco counts. Um, it is currently consuming 1.8 megawatts. Woo! Not quite a percentage yet. I mean, not even, not even half a percent yet. <laughs> okay. So a T2 generator can... All by itself, no problem, power a castle. Good to know. We've got, uh, we don't have any ventilators because this is a, a oxygen breathable planet. Uh, let's take a look at what it's cost us so far to build. Uh, 4,300 iron, 2,300 cobalt, 6,000 silicone, 63,000 rock dust, uh, 1,800 copper, 17,000 wood planks, 256 plastic, 108 growing plots, 26 arrestrium, 26 saskosium, uh, 8 neodymium, and 20 sathium. It's kind of weird. What is the the neo and sath? Is that repair bays or something? I don't... Oh, oh, that'll be the furnace. Bitch of the furnace. Because I, I had to remove the repair bay. I want to put one in on the outside. You can only have one repair bay per base, so I gotta be a little bit more strategic where I place it. I want um, CVs to have access to it, so I'm gonna have to go put it out in the, um, oh, in the inventory fault. So let's go into the canned, oh, I already had some made from last time. Well, that's good, that's good. Let's finish picking this really quick and get these going and I'll take a, I'll take a bunch of cans with me. The um, the targeting hitbox for these vegetables can be a, a complete pain. So we'll just get this. Wow, my machine is really lagging out. Um, usually it's not this bad. Sorry, guys. I'm going to blame the size of the castle. Really? You can stand, when you're standing on something, you cannot access it. If you're too close to it, you can't open it. That's a little weird. Ugh. It's hard to stay trapped. Okay, inventory full. Wow. This is really choppy. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, let's get a bunch of these going. We'll get 20 going. Yeah, we'll finish picking these. I think it's just having to render too much right now. Um, I think it won't be so bad when we get upstairs. It just seems to have difficulties in the uh, garden here. I think it's just too much stuff, all these leaves and stuff to render. Okay, get those in there. We'll take a can, uh, a pack of cans with us. Okay, let's get out of here. It's still having difficulties. Wow. Oh, uh, maybe I should have put those in the 
food processor. Well, I can access it from here. I think so. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got to get off the statistics page. That slows it down. Okay, so we want to go into my food processors. Food, let's close some of these groups. That's ridiculous. We don't need that expanded. That's ridiculous. Here we go. Uh, canner. That's the one we want to put the stuff in. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's go all the way upstairs. I think today we want to do some some uh, heavy construction on the top section. So, oops, too far. Oh yeah, I decoed this out. Made a little. Um, so this is the. This is the main elevator tower, the top of the main elevator tower. I, I turned it into a little uh, bachelor suite. So, kind of cool. I'll probably do the same thing with the other tower. Yeah. Okay, let's go downstairs. Wow, this is really choppy still. I'm not really sure why. All I'm doing is recording. Okay, so out into our connector hall to the other elevator tower. So that goes to the elevator tower that goes down to the basement. We want to go out here. So this is the top. The top of the castle area, I continued construction in this area. You notice some floating dirt up there. Yeah, we'll deal with that later. Uh, oh, you know what? Since we're up here, I'm going to show you the, the control tower. So I finished building the control tower off the top of the... I haven't done any thing on this deck yet for not quite sure what I want to do up there up here for deck. Whoa, I don't have a mezzanine built for this. <laughs> Creepy. Okay, let's just fall down then. So mental note, gotta make a mezzanine there. Okay, so let's go up. Now this gets us onto the top of the machine shop. So I did this black tarmac on the top of the machine shop. I did some lighting around the hangar bays. I also went with the, I decided to do the black all the way around. It just looks better. So I have not um, symboled up the rest of it par for parking yet. I'm still working on the construction more than the, the nitty bitty details. So let's go up and I'll show you the control tower. Okay. Well, there we go. Whatever my, you know what? I bet you my computer was in the middle of a freaking antivirus scan because now it's smoothed out. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's check out the rooftop here. Now, all this rooftop was made for, basically, there's nothing underneath it. It's just, it's just dirt under here. Um, all this was done was just to build the wall out a little bit more. Um, well, that's quite the view. Not bad. So, so critters cannot get up this high on the wall. So we're kind of... We're safe now. Um, I put a bunch of radar. I put some uh, antennas up. I tried building a different type of tower and I had it collapse on me twice. So I had to go with our default uh, straight box style tower. I'm not too happy about that, but it is what it is. I just want to get, I just wanted to get this done. So here's our control tower. I decoded it out. Um, We've got a view of the, well, let me 
me jump over here. We've got a view of the castle down below. Uh, CV. So this is where they're going to guide people into the hangar bay and whatnot. How to park. Uh, so this is strictly just for looks, really. I mean, there is no functionality to this at all. <laughs> okay, let's go upstairs. And again, just for looks, no functionality at all. Uh, like, like 99% of this castle is going to be. Okay, it's like a virtual dollhouse almost. And I'm the doll. My little avatar. Okay, let's... So today... Today, we need to throw a bunch of blocks up. Um, so let's do that with the rest of the episode. We'll get some more blocks put up. Where the hell, how do I get over there again? That door. You can see how many levels there are to this, and it just it just keeps going down and down, and it just it just oh my god oh that's that's funky. I wonder if I can reach it from here. Disassemble. Yep. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't want to go all the way down. I want to go to this level. I believe this gets me out to the... I can't get back up there, can I? How, how do I get up there? God, I'm lost. <laughs> this place is getting too big for me. Is it this one? Maybe it's this one. Yes, the broken mezzanine. Uh, should we just do some quick and dirty elevator blocks? We'll change this up later. Just want to get up here. Okay, come on. So now that we're back outside, we need to start throwing up some blocks. Um, that is way too high. My drone is not going to be able to reach that. I need to get up onto that. My constructor platform that I got floating there. <laughs> I guess we got to go get the SV. Sorry, guys. <laughs> We're running around. Oh, lots of texturing to do still. Oh, my God. This place is massive. Let's grab my SV. All the way down, all the way down to the bottom, up here, and it should be just right here. Okay. Come on, let me jump up. Okay. Come on. Really? Oh, <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. Get your freaking ship already. <sighs> Let's power this up. Go through my power up ritual. Fill that up. Open that. Get inside. And oh, I should actually eat some of this food really quick here. deco and stuff. I'm not going to need that. What I'm going to need is a bunch of blocks. So let's grab these blocks. Okay. Let's get out of here. Yes, my ship is very fast. I got this floating platform here as a construction platform. 
Uh, so I'm just gonna land on it. Whoa, no, I'm not gonna tip, I'm gonna land on it. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep it running. Uh, because it's landed the uh, I could I could let's see it's using up 14 I've got 1426 at 314 if I turn the thrusters off goes down a little bit they weren't really getting used anyway because I was landing I was landed so there was no it wasn't needing a thrust okay uh, I'm just gonna jump out and what I mean by jump out is just get out get out of the seat so now that I'm up here, I should be able to pop my drone out. See, handy dandy, I'm still in in the uh, inside the covered area of my ship because when it starts getting some ridiculous hail and stuff, the force field will protect me and I won't get killed. Okay, let's go over here. Let's get some blocks up. This area here is going to be the um, commons tower, I want to call it. So people will come into the this area with some stairs coming up into doors. Double, double stairs, double doors in. Uh, because that's going to be slightly higher than... That right there is slightly higher than the the outside level, which is good. Stairs going up is good. And then, so this will open up into the tower here. The tower bottom is going to be the common area. Uh, so reception, um, eating, dining, all that sort of thing. It's just going to be a big, the big main party room, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, so let's, and I want this to be higher than this wall. Oh, it looks kind of cool. We're getting there. It's starting to look more and more like a castle every day, isn't it? Although the, the deco kind of throw it off from looking like a castle, but it's a control tower. Come on. Uh, okay, let's get some blocks up here. We need a shit ton of blocks. So let's just, I'm not sure how high I want this. Let's start in this corner. So we want it to be higher than the wall, but by how much? I'm not sure. Does it need to be super high? We also want it to be higher than the roof of this, which is gonna come up probably there. So, okay, it will be, it should be, it should be higher. Let's do, let's do four just in case. And that'll make it stick out a little higher. Okay, so let's get these blocks up. Whoa. And nope, not high enough. A couple more, get those in. Gonna have some drone contact issues with this far corner, but once I get these blocks in, we won't be in the far corner that often. Oh, went too high. Okay. And you can see, you can see the view is going to be absolutely spectacular. Well, not from a drone because I'm losing connection to it, but okay. So let's get these blocks in. So four high and as over as far as, no, come on down one. Thank you. And won't go over anymore. Okay. 
there's a max amount for some reason that you can put at the at any given time i think it's the amount of blocks not the not the it is a distance thing but it's also the amount of blocks overall okay why am i doing one at a time Come on, won't let me do it one more, okay. Oh, because I was at the max block count, I bet. And whoa, that was hideous. Guess we'll just do that. And that. Sometimes the height, even though I'm actually sitting comfortably in my chair at home, I get heebie-jeebie sometimes when when i'm really at the top of some of these high towers and stuff it's going to be um when i finish my pinnacle and so my pinnacle is going to be the my living quarters which is going to be a floating uh feature i gotta pull this dirt over to the center more here centering in here because this whole area is just going to be a big glass structure um, with a peaked window and then there'll be an elevator coming up there'll be a gap of a block so it'll be it'll be out in open space and then it'll it'll be a veed out from the bottom and go up to a this might not be high enough but we'll see and it's definitely over too close so I, i'm gonna have to move all that but for now it suffices as a construction platform and get this up now i'm gonna have to put pillars in this because this is way too big to support a roof I mean, I guess I could try. You know what? I got a ton of concrete. I can always try. I would love for it to be completely open. Well, what's the worst that's going to happen is I'll just have to rebuild this section. Not like I haven't uh, blown shit up already numerous times. I'm going to go with my 99 blocks because i got to get as many as possible and let's check out the structural integrity while i'm doing this mm, this is not looking like it's going to be doable yeah let's see let's see I would love it if I can. Wood would never be able to do this. I think steel could, no problem, but wood, nope. Concrete's a little stronger. Ooh. That's getting a little scary in the center there, but I think, I think I can pull it off. Oh, if I can do a single, oh my God, how epic would this be? Come on. Oh, shit. It's about to collapse. I got to fix that. No. Come on. Oh. Thank you, and there we go, there we go. Okay, so let's fill in from this direction. Holy shit, I'm gonna pull this off without any, okay, excellent. Holy crap! I can't believe I did that without it collapsing. We'll just take that off. Wow. Whew. 
Whew. Gives you the heebie-jeebies coming over that, doesn't it? Woo! Okay. Uh, it is dark as piss. I can't really see much. Hmm. Okay. So I think we need to go into... Nope. Not yet. The sun is just a little too bright. Can I hide? Can I hide here and get my night vision going? Yeah, I guess so. Ugh. Still heinously bright. Constructing at night sucks. Uh, I'll just have to deal with this until the sun goes down. So let's... You know what I need to do then is I need to continue this up. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get that. Oh, I can't get that all the way. Okay, so let's do it from this side. Fill this in. Okay. And then we... The reason I'm doing it in the dead center is... It. I plan on making the wood out of roof, or the, the wood out of roof, the roof out of wood. And the structural integrity of wood is horrible. And I need as much concrete around as possible uh, to actually even have a shot at doing that. So I had to bring this wall right up to the center. I already know I'm going to have problems with the design, but it's just the way it is. Okay, so. This is going to have to come up pretty far, I think. Right? Well, maybe not that high. Okay, let's finish off over here then. Yeah, it's really starting to get hard to see. So we'll do we'll do the uh, night vision. Pull that right over. Okay. And the great thing is, is these are narrow enough for wood to just go in between so I don't have to do anything else. So this side is actually all the room. There's going to be a couple... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't moving forward when I did that. Okay, let's try that again. Because um, that would have kind of sucked to get my ship back i would have had to build elevators up this come up to the top and then jump down <laughs> onto it oh god okay so let's get this in okay so that's the center dividing wall uh you know what we can just um we can just pull this wood all the way we can pull the wood. Okay, we'll tug this wood all the way. Come on. Oh. It did nothing. So it just kind of blanked out. Ugh, shot a blank when I pulled it. Okay, there we go. Come on, get over there, thank you. And some more, more wood. More and more and more wood. Get up over here, watch, there's gonna be a bunch of wood on the other side of the wall. I don't know why wood's... Some of the blocks are doing that now, they're like going right through to the other side. I guess I'm, I'm pushing it too hard. Okay, so that is the, that portion of the floor to this side. Now we'll jump over to the other side, get that in. Nice. OK, 
Okay. And uh, will it, will it do it? Yep. Okay. Okay. So that's that floor in. Um. That's all too high now. Okay. So now. Now what do I need to do? I need to put. See, these are going to be balconies looking out over who that's going to be that's going to be rough okay so let's get rid of this i think that's too high that looks too high too it's definitely too high it shouldn't be as high as the center one So I think I just wanted it three high and I was going to start doing the roof from here. Yeah. It's not going to be as big as I wanted, but it's all ready. I mean, this project has went way beyond the scope of what I originally intended. So at this point, you know, the scope creep has already set precedent, so I might as well just go with it, right? <coughs> so that means knocking down that wall significantly. And then we can build the roof coming all the way forward. You know what? I think that's what we need to do right now. Let's, let's fly over there. Oh, yeah. That doesn't help when I turn the thrusters off. Okay. Oh, see that? See that? It did, it did frickin' stick wood out the sides. God damn it. Okay. Um, where's the entrance? How the hell do I get in there again? I don't have any doors opening to that yet, do I? Actually, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Over on the... Where do I get down? I can get into it from the wall. So... I should be able to just jetpack up onto the wall. Let's just land here. I don't need to have that powered right now. We'll get out. Okay, so let's use my ship. Oh shit! Thank God for retaining walls. Oh, that is, don't need that anymore. Okay, so I've got some lights in here. Still a lot of texturing and painting to do. This is the center wall, the divider wall. This goes into the... So basically this is, I want to consider this the first floor, but realistically there is a downstairs. Now it's not a very high downstairs, or is it? Oh, it's three story. Okay, so it's, it's spooky. Hello, 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 hello. That's one long room. I'm thinking dungeon, jails, you know, torture chamber, all the stuff that a good castle dungeon should have. Yeah. So much space for activities. Oh my god. Let's get out of night sight. Okay, let's try and figure out the roof and then we'll call it an episode. So we'll try and, Ooh, I'm not sure, I can't see. Let's turn my light on, ooh, that was scary. And I guess we gotta use our night vision. Um, okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get up to here. 
Now. Hmm. Do I want that to be three or four high? And on the other side, I've got it three high. Three high and then the roof. So three high and then, so I'm gonna need, this has to go at least one higher. So this side of the building, this is gonna be a common area hall with like reclining couches and stuff, windows out the side, some, some um, balconies to look out over onto the castle. So basically, you know, where courtesans would go and hang out and, and you know, gossip about the king. Uh, okay, getting too far. So let's get the other side. Now this is supposed to be four high in total on the walls. So one, two, three, four, right there. So we chop that off. We're gonna chop these blocks off. Oh. Yeah, we'll keep We'll keep that, we'll actually add that. That might have to go higher yet. Actually, it will have to, almost guaranteed. So I'll do uh, the three high off there. So that's one, two, three high. We'll see. Let's get this cleared off so that we can start on this. So, outside wall section gets concrete. So, concrete, we'll build this up. So do I, I'm not quite sure how to go with this. That might actually have to go one higher still. Yeah, I think it does. Oh, okay, well, two higher. Actually, it might've been two higher. Okay. Just trying to envision this. Hmm. So how do I do this? Do I do the same theme as I did down on that roof where it's where there's no eave? Well, I could do an eave. I could do an eave, a wooden eave. But I don't think this is, this has to come over one more. So we're looking like, well, I could probably do the top one wood. No, but we can't have that exposed, right? So like that, and then like that, that. Okay, and then
oh, it might still not be enough, right? One. So if I do it, one, yeah, damn it. I'm going to have to do it right to the edge. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I can't see any other way of making this work without doing this. Okay. So this is going to have to definitely come higher. Uh, that means the tower that we finished tapped off over there might actually have to go higher too. That's okay. Nothing in this game is irreversible. Okay, so now from here, I think we do the, just the slopes, right? Uh, yeah, because I can I can texture concrete to have roof tiles also, so this will match up. This will this will match up. Okay, let's just do concrete right. And continue that up. We'll put. Um, we'll just do flat there okay so hmm okay okay yeah yeah this is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, so now, I think I need to build a roof. So let's, or I'm gonna seal this off. Um, so that was gonna be the fourth one right there. So let's put all these blocks in for here. Because I want to see what I can do. So that's going to be the attic. But it's also going to have window. There's going to be windows that come out. And balcony that comes out from a window. So that's the other thing i got to figure out. i got to figure out how to do the balcony thing. Hmm. Hmm. Let's come out with concrete. So we're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to come out one more, and then we're going to just angle these off, I think. What am I doing? Come on. There we go. They don't even have to be full blocks. And actually that would look better if they weren't. So let's Yeah, let's go like this, and we're going to do half walls. 
Do they have half wall? Yes, they do. Okay. Okay. So half wall, we want this like this. Now, so let's do one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three there, one in the center, and then we're going to do half wall. Right, sloped wall, that should be it. And then we flip that and we put that. Oh, now we've got to. Flip that and then spin it. Like that. And. Like that. Okay, so that is going to be the balconies that I'm going to go with. So it is going to open from a single door. And these are going to be blocks right here then. So these are going to be full block. And then they are going to go like this. And then that'll just, unfortunately, there's nothing good to use here. They don't have a, I don't see one. They don't have like a middle peak. No. No. Okay, so we'll just use, we'll just fill that with a solid block. It should work. And then, so that, I have to go, because that, the roof, so I think I got to do one more, right? Let's see, let's see, if we do the roof like this. Let's just get these up. It should be able to hold three wide for now. Okay, so that's a bit of a conundrum, isn't it? Or is it? Is it? Or isn't it? Or is there an angle block? There's an angle block I can put in there, right? Yeah. So we use the, this one, I believe. And we just, how do we do it? No. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I think we go like, this and then no okay how the hell do i how am i going to do this it's got to be a way so is there a freaking corner block i'm i'm just Derping right now? Okay, so we want one, two, three full sides to it. 
and then a sloped top, right? Because this So is it one of these? Okay. Oh, too much, I think. And then like that, right? There we go. There we go. And then... Okay. So we got to figure that out. Okay, so let's continue one more. Let's risk it. Continue this over. Now I'm thinking I just continue this now, right? Hmm. I don't know. That's a little kludgy. Uh, I gotta try and figure that out. That's just not working very well. Okay, let's put a solid block here just to... Huh, is there a different... Is there a different one? I don't think so. I know the shape I need, but that doesn't exist. Can I do it with this though? I might be able to. No. See, I need this to continue on a slope. I need that to continue on a slope. So, how do I do that? And tie together. Uh, I don't know. Hmm, that doesn't work there. <laughs> I'm going to have to look at some architectural drawings, I think, to see how this is done. But even even though I, I know the shape I want, I don't know if it exists in the game. Let's, um, let's just put some regular, do I go like this now? No, I don't think so, because I've, I don't have the proper peak. So I think... I think I have to go with just that. Like that. Eh. Let's put this in and take a look. floor in here. Uh, 
I mean, it works, I guess. See, the problem is, is all the angles coming together there. Uh, we don't have a block that connects that properly. This is about the closest I think I'm going to get. Okay, so let's put a door on here and see how this looks and some railings and we'll texture it. And I'm about to starve. That's why I love canned vegetables. They, they last forever. You can have a stack of 20 on you. And before they expire, you've eaten them all. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, door. Door, 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 door. Now, we want this out like that. But I want it on the inside block for structural integrity. So that. We want it flush to keep that flush theme from the outside. And then hmm. will I be able to put Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do let's do my railings here. Oh, I've got one left? One? Holy crap, I didn't realize I used them all. Okay, well, that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. We'll just go into here. And oh, those are done. Good. We'll make some more railings. Shutter window, shutter blocks. No, where the hell's the railing? Stairs, railings. There we go. Uh, I'm going to need a bunch of them, I guess. So let's make 50 for now. I only need a few right now just to finish this off. Okay. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, should I risk going out of night vision? Well, it's a little dark. Let's let's stay with night vision. I know it's a little glary. So. I'm thinking glass for this. That one. Put one over here really quick. There. And then. There. And we got angled ones. There, no, is that right? Does the seam connect? No. But it, I'm not sure, does it connect there? No, okay, so I, I think this is in the wrong spot. Let's flip it one. And then we go like that. And then, oh, what? Wait. Okay. Whoa, no. <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong block when I'm doing it. That's what the problem is. I'm okay. Let's do that. And then I go like this, right? To flip it around. Oh, wrong. Ugh. God 
these are <laughs> rotating blocks is a pain in the ass. It rotates and then moves the target. Okay, so we see it automatically moved to another block as soon as I rotated it. And now my door's upside down. Okay, where are you? Come back. Thank you. Uh, okay, why is this being so difficult? Let's just... No, I didn't want to actually do that. Okay, fine. One more. Stop leaving the target. There we go. And then... <laughs> And then we'll rotate you uh, back to. I, I don't care. I'm going to go with it right now. It's going to, I don't want to screw with every single block on this place. Okay. So this just needs to get rotated. And okay. So that one is definitely freaking wrong. See that? That's just too screwed. I, I don't want to do that. Is there? That's the only angle one. So I got to go with this. So there's got to be a way of rotating that then. Stupid rotate. Could be something to rotate on. Uh, see how it moves to another. No! God damn, stop that. Oh, this is difficult. <laughs> okay, where did it go? Oh, it just rotated that one. I see. There. Okay. Now. Okay. Now, is that the right? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Woo! Don't want to do that very often. Now, am I going to be able to continue this up without it collapsing? I think. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's. I don't like that look anyway, so I think what I want to do Do I do angled roof blocks from here? Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Sun coming out? Yeah, sun's come out. Wondering why it was getting so glary. So I think what I want to do is Bring this up. Like that. Yes. Okay. And that one too. There we go. So now we've got a single door leading out onto a balcony. And then I'll continue that balcony. I'll match it up with the other floors so that each floor has a balcony that lines up like that. So I'm going to have a bunch of balconies on this side and I'm going to duplicate the balconies on the other side. Make sense? Let's see what our structural integrity is. And not bad. Not bad. I don't see anything red right now. Um, let's continue this up. Right out of logs. We're out of wood here. Let's get some more blocks. Whoops, that looked right. Apparently not. 
Okay, I don't want to rotate. I want to just nuke you from orbit. There we go. Rotate one more. There we go. And that. Okay, so now continue this theme up. And then we flip it. No, not that way. We flip it. Okay, and then getting there. Flip it. <clears throat> getting there. I want to see what the transition looks like after. So I want to get this in. Hopefully this episode won't run too long here. Come on. <laughs> so jittery. This needs to be all the way anyway, so let's just get that up there, because it's pretty evident that I need that. Oh no, my CV doesn't have structural integrity with the base. Okay, so let's keep putting these wood blocks on. Flip it. And flip it. And again, Ooh, got some red appearing there by the look of it. Oh, not quite red. Oh yeah, it's getting a little tingy. It's getting a little crimsony. So as it gets, the more red it gets, the more danger of collapsing. So we're running into some issues coming out from the wall so it's the wall there supporting it Ooh. although it's not gotten any darker as we move this way so we might get away with this we might we might get away with this how does it look let's get some more up just to And it is kind of turning red right there, but it's not beet red. And there's nothing else. There's, it's not like anything's gonna be sitting on this roof. It's too steep to land a vehicle on. And I'm getting structural integrity back now, so. That's a good sign. Okay. Let's keep going with this. And we'll flip. Okay, 
Oh, but we're losing structural integrity again. Why is that? I'm not quite sure. Is it does it need more blocks here? That doesn't make any sense. No, that did nothing. Uh we might run into problems, I don't know. Really freaking hope not, because It would suck to, although, although I could build walls. And separate these into, well, this is gonna be the hallway portion up here. These are actually the bedrooms over on this side. So, hmm. I might have to punch another elevator up through too at the back there on the other side. I think I will have to. And punch a door through. And this will just be, so the back sections will be not rooms. I also want to punch some, do I want to punch a veranda at the back? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, let's get this finished. Okay, so now that's a few more at all. Oh, and we're getting our, we are getting our structure. It was just because I didn't have those ones on the bottom there. Okay, you know what? We're going to be able to do this all the way across without having to put any more structural support in. Awesome. Okay, let's get out of structural integrity view so we can see it. Um, let's texture this up really quick. So this is supposed to be like this. And on here and here, get all that textured. I could even put like a, a support. Which is actually a damn good idea. Let's, it's just for looks, but Oh, I can't, because they're half walls. Eh, screw it. It doesn't need it. It was just, I was just going to put it in for looks. And then get this done. Okay, and then what we want is we want the roof texture. Nope. It's a different one on, I knew it's the same texture, it's just a different location. So now for the wood, it's stupid. That'd be nice if they fix that, then I wouldn't have to. Oh, actually I want to keep that. I want to just keep like that. Okay. But this has to be roof texture. And this, and this, and that, and that. And then we'll continue that along. Okay. 
It looks pretty good from... Let's get the right color on here. Uh, paint the door. Get the railings. That looks way better. Okay, and then the... Oh, that, that sticks out quite nice now. Oh, yeah, hey, look at that. That's not bad. I can deal with these little flared out tops. Well, hmm? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. There we go. We figured out our roof. We figured out the roofing system for the big barn. Let's call it the barn. Okay, guys. Uh, let's stop here. I know we've run over on this video quite quite far here, uh, but we we figured out the roofing system for the large building. Um, I it looks like it is exactly the same level as our current tower so i might be able to just put up palisades for that i might just do palisades on there and that'll come nice and flush and the palisades will just sit a little bit higher i don't know we'll see i could raise it up one or two it doesn't necessarily have to Okay, guys, uh, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Uh, next episode, I should have this done. I should have the roof built in. I should have the um, common tower, commons tower done. Uh, I won't have anything decoed, but I should have at least the roofing system and the um, and the and all the uh, texturing and painting done. Uh, i got a lot of work ahead of me off camera here to get to get to that point so uh, I'm gonna leave it here and we'll pick up next episode with uh, this looking a lot more done probably well guys you have a good one and I'll talk to you later